Okay. Here we're going to look at our high temperature bore valve. We call this our BLS HT series. They're actually the same as our standard three piece bore valve in terms of its casting. You can see that just here. So physically face to face, uh, same casting, same tie rods. The major difference is the seat material. We have what we call a 50-50 seat. Uh, you can see these seats here. So when we say it's 50-50, it's a 50% mix of a stainless steel powder and PTFE. Now that lets you go to a lot higher temperature. We say 220 degrees, but it does depend upon your temperature and pressure graph. So you need to see where you sit on that. In our standard three piece over here, this is a reinforced Teflon, which is Teflon with a 15% glass filler. So this series here, one, sorry, one other thing you'll see, notice too is the handles. So this handle's a lot bigger. And why is this bigger? It's bigger because by going to a 50-50 seat, you increase the torque of the valve. The other thing that we find too, uh, that we change with these, these are a cast stainless steel handle. You can see physically, that this is a suppressed one over here, that this is a lot thicker. Now what that lets you do is really swing off the handle, or you can also put a pipe over here if it's up high and you need to turn it. One other thing you notice on this one, the locking mechanism slides down here. If you come over to this one here, you notice it doesn't have that. Now, we don't have it because these are on high temperature applications where you want to minimize the time that your hand is on the handle. Now, you're wearing a glove or something like that, but what you don't want to be is trying to slide this tab up like you do here. You can just turn this one. It's still got a stopping pin over here, and you still does have a locking mechanism here where you can put the padlock through. That will lock the handle to the pad. So this stopping pin, it's, if you notice, it's not threaded into the body of the valve. It's actually in one of the mounting ports. So you can adjust this one slightly to call it, calibrate your start and stop position. So if I turn this valve here, you can see the handle is stopped. Well, it's still a stopping pin, but it's just through the mounting interface of the valve. Now one other difference that you can't see is up in the stem there's a sealing o-ring that, that's in all of our valves it's still got live loaded packing double washers quite often in these valves and high temperature ones uh, other brands will move to a gland seal now gland seal does let you go a higher temperature the problem is a gland seal you always have to go and tighten over time so a live loading packing with double washers we really want to retain so what we've gone to for the o-ring up in the shaft is what we call an ffkm so that is compared to FKM, which is standard in here, which is Viton. So F, FKM is a higher grade. Uh, it actually lets you go to 325 degrees Celsius. And it's got a lot uh, bigger chemical compatibility as well. It's almost universal compatible, almost like uh, PTFE. Um, so that it's actually, I believe they add more fluorine to form FFKM. So you can't see that one that's up in the stem. If we took it apart, you could see it. Uh, this is a standard FKM rowing. It's out of this one, but you would notice that you know it would be the same dimensionally. It's just a different material. So those three things are the, are the main ones. Different seats, different seal up in the stem, and a different handle, which forms our high temperature. Now, we use these very commonly, mainly on steam. A steam at higher, higher pressure. Uh, or anything where you may be, we say these are good to 180 degrees, but if you're sitting on 180 degrees or up there continuously, we would recommend you go to this because it, it does allow you some leeway. But again, consult the pressure versus temperature curve. You need to find where you sit to select the right valve for this.